A pleasant good afternoon to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome to our noonday meditation uh, for the 3rd of January, 2024. A happy new year to everyone, and welcome once again. Uh, I am Canon Richard Jacob from uh, the Parish of All Saints, uh, just taking this opportunity to wish you all of God's richest blessings as we start this new year and just urging us really uh, to make time for God even as we continue to do the things that God requires of us. And so let us pray. Heavenly Father, you said that wherever two or three are gathered in your name, there you are in the midst of them. We ask, Lord, that you will be with us in a special way as we take this time together to praise and worship you. Pray that you will help us to worship you in spirit and in truth, that you will help us to think about the incarnation of your Son, and that you will draw our hearts to him. For we ask these things in no other name but his precious name, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so we continue with uh, the hymn, Unto Us a Child of Royal Birth, followed by Wild Shepherds, Watch Their Flocks by Night.
And so welcome again, if you're now joining us uh, as we continue with our first noonday meditation for the year 2024. Let us pray. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship of praise and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship bear witness to your peace and saving power. Through your Spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. Our readings for today are for Psalm 90, 98, Psalm 98, verses 1 and 2 and 4 to 7, 1 John chapter 3, verses 1 to 6, and the Gospel of John, the first chapter, verses 29 to 34. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have poured upon us the new light of your incarnate word. Granted this light and kindled in our spirits may shine forth in our lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. A reading from the Word of God, written in the first letter of John, the third chapter, beginning to read at the first verse. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this, when he is revealed, we will be like him, or we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. Everyone who commits sin is guilty of lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he was revealed to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him sins. No one who sins has either seen him or known him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 98. Psalm 98. Found on page 596. Verses 1 and 2. And verses 4 to 7. Sing to the Lord a new song. For he has done marvelous things. With his right hand and his holy arm has he won for himself the victory. The Lord has made known his victory. He remembers his mercy and faithfulness to the house of Israel, and all the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Shall be joy to the Lord, all you lands. Lift up your voice, rejoice, and sing. Sing to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of song with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Shout with joy before the King, the Lord. The hymn, Hark the Herald Angels Sing.
A reading from the Word of God written in the Gospel of John, the first chapter, beginning to read at the 29th verse. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and declared, Here is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me comes a man who ranks ahead of me, because he was before me. I myself did not know him, but I came baptizing with water for this reason, that he might be revealed to Israel. And John testified, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it remained on him. I myself did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water said to me, He on whom you see the Spirit descend and remain is the one who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I myself have seen and have testified that this is the Son of God. The word of the Lord, uh, thanks be to God. Let us pray. May the words of my lips and the meditation of all our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O God, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. I speak to you in the name of the triune God, the Father who creates, the Son who redeems, and the Holy Spirit who sustains. Amen. Uh, so happy new year once again, everyone. And we we really are, I guess, fortunate in a sense, uh, because this Christmas into New Year's was one of those strange kinds of seasons, uh, simply because, of course, uh, Christmas Eve fell on a Sunday. Uh, so there was no Advent for, for us last year. Um, I had no week of Advent for, I should say, uh, but just the, the Sunday morning alone. Uh, in the same way, of course, there will be no Christmas too, no su second Sunday in Christmas, uh, because, of course, Sunday coming will be the first Sunday in Epiphany. And we really are just invited, of course, to, to take the whole incarnation story um, together in what ends up being the shortest kind of time. Uh, this notion that God gave us his son and that he became a babe in the manger and that he indeed actually then becomes the one who brings God to us. Uh, one of the prayers that we have, it says that, of course, that in Christ Jesus, uh, God the Father, wedded it to heaven and heaven to earth and we are really given this opportunity uh, to think about the incarnation and the way in which god is revealed to us of course the epiphany uh the manifestation the coming of the three wise men brings that and broadens the focus uh so that that the christ is given not only to the jews and the children of israel uh, the Christ is given to everyone. And the three wise men, or however many wise men it was, they represent all of us, the Gentiles and those who, quote-unquote, did not belong to the people of Israel. And of course, it, it brings us back to our readings, and the first John reading in particular. Because, of course, John writes, See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. He really believes that. And John tells us that, that we are, in fact, called God's children, and that that is an expression of God's love for us. And, of course, he says that the reason that the world does not know who we are is because it did not know this Jesus. Of course... He, he says that, that there are some things about what it means to be God's child that will be revealed in time. But we are given this opportunity, I think, especially in a season like this where everything seems crunched together, uh, where we have Christmas and the holy name of Jesus and Epiphany uh, it, and the 12 days fall in the shortest possible cycle uh, to hold this incarnation story. Um, and hold it deeply in our hearts. We are, as we say as Christians, made in the image and likeness of God. We believe that Christ comes and redeems that image. 
that Christ comes and helps us to see what we are truly meant to be. And we will have heard the hymn, uh, Tell Us a Child of Royal Birth, uh, up at the top. Uh, and the hymn, it's hymn 86 in our hymnal, in our CPWI hymnal. Uh, I would urge you just to go back and uh, and read the words of the hymn. Uh, say the words of the hymn almost as a prayer. Because in the last verse, the hymn writer uh, says it this way. The Lord of hosts, the God most high, quits his throne on earth to live. With joy we welcome from the sky, with faith into our hearts receive. The notion is that, that Christ will have come into our midst and we receive him in our hearts. We make a home for him in our hearts. We join ourselves to God by being joined to Christ. And by being joined to Christ individually, we really are meant to be joined to each other. And the more that we join ourselves to Christ and we allow ourselves to be joined to each other, uh, the more this space, this temporal thing that we occupy, little pieces of it will look like heaven. There is a real sense in which uh, we must pursue that with all of our being. And as we begin a new year, and the new year has started off really with a chronic bang. Uh, I mean, more than five or six meters in the space of two or three days. Uh, we know that we have to do better than that. Uh, all of the things that, that are not of God, all of the things that beset us, crime, the violence, uh, the, the jealousy and envy, the backbiting and intrigue and all of it. In my own opinion, humbly, it has to do with us choosing things other than God, uh, allowing things other than God to fester in our lives and in the lives, life of our community. We, we always try to hearken back, quote unquote, to our better, simpler time. And I really believe that that is a fallacy because the times before had their own challenges and struggles. Uh, if anything, what was different is that folks tried to live together in community a little bit better. And so now that we are more or less preoccupied with self and what is in it for me and all of that kind of thing, the sense of community and belonging has diminished. But it is not so far away. If we really understand that we are meant to be connected to God, and that if we are connected to God, we are connected to each other. If we understand the point of most of the Christmas carols uh, and the songs for Epiphany that we have, if we realize that, that as we come to worship this God more deeply, uh, that this God abides in us, uh, that, that Emmanuel comes and is with us, uh, then if God is with each of us, then we have to learn to be with each other. It really, in my mind, has become that simple. And the, the asking God to help us exercise patience and love and forbearance and all the rest of it uh, becomes part of allowing this thing uh, to manifest itself in our midst. The kings who come, the, the Epiphany event, uh, they are kings from different places, but they work together to bring themselves to find this Jesus because this Jesus is more important than their kingdoms. They come to him in humility and they bring their gifts uh, because they understand that even though he is just a babe, uh, what he represents is God's presence in their midst. In the same way, we have to bring our gifts to God. We have to bring who we are to God. And then we have to receive God in a way that helps us to be the things that God intended. And I pray that as we begin this new year, that we will commit ourselves to that work that we will commit ourselves uh, to truly seeking God with all of our heart and mind and soul and strength, 
that we will truly commit ourselves to doing as John says in his letter, uh, that we will commit ourselves to, to being purified in the things of God, uh, that we will have that hope that just as he is pure, he can purify our conscience and help us to avoid the sin and the lawlessness and all of the things which cause us to be pulled away from God. Uh, John is really very clear in his mind that, that the way that this works is that by adoption, by grace, not by anything that we've done for ourselves, God makes us his own. And all he asks is really that we would look to Jesus and live. And I pray that in this new year, we will indeed look and live, that we will trust this Jesus to guide us into the things that will make us the best version of ourselves, that we will continue to grow, that we will continue to help this Jesus be manifest in our lives, and that we will make him manifest to others. I pray that God will also just continue uh, to help us to face our church for what it is and without uh, being so hard on ourselves that we miss the good things that are happening, that we will just continue to grow in the things that God requires of us in this moment. All of God's richest blessings to you, all of God's richest blessings to your families. Uh, we really just want to be God's children in the way that God intended. John tells us that this is a sign of the Father's love. And I pray that we will become signs of the Father's love in every way. Uh, may God, just by his grace, help us to do that. The Lord be with you. And so, and so we have the hymn, Go Tell It on the Mountain, Over the Hills and Everywhere, of Jesus Christ is born.
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just continue to bring ourselves before you. We continue to lift up our nation. Pray that you will remove from us anything that is not of you. That you will just continue to show us the way that we should go. We pray, Lord, that you will watch over our leaders. That you will watch over all those who influence the lives of others in any way. We pray that you will just continue to draw us into your divine will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to lift up the family of departed Basdeo Pandey, former prime minister. We give you thanks, Lord, for his service to our country, and we pray that you will watch over his family as they mourn in this moment. We lift up all those who have lost loved ones over this Christmas season, all those for whom Christmas has been a difficult time. We pray, Lord, that your presence with them will comfort them and that you will indeed just continue to remind them of your love and that you will use us to help them experience your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for peace in our world. To pray that even as we receive the Prince of Peace, that his unending love will indeed change the hearts of men. We pray, Lord, that you will therefore turn the hearts of stone into hearts of flesh. That human beings will treat human beings like human beings. We remember the ongoing conflict between Hamas and Israel and Palestine. And we pray, Lord, that you will just intervene and allow good sense to prevail. That you will bring an end to the carnage. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Continue to lift up all those who have asked the prayers of the church, all those who are sick and suffering at this time. We pray, Lord, for your healing hand upon them, that you will just continue to surround them with your love. That you will continue to open a way for all those who are in pain at this time, and that you will indeed just comfort them in the midst of their challenge. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your Son. We ask you to accept and fulfill our petitions. We pray not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but always as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Eternal light, shine into our hearts. Eternal goodness, deliver us from evil. Eternal power, be our support. Eternal wisdom, scatter the darkness of our ignorance. Eternal pity, have mercy upon us. That with all our heart, with all our mind, with all our soul and with all our strength, we may indeed seek your face and be brought by your infinite mercy to your most holy presence. For we ask these things through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So once again, I'll just take the opportunity to wish everyone a happy new year. Uh, please continue to join us. Uh, there is meditation every day uh, during the week. Uh, for Holy Trinity Cathedral. Uh, the Wednesdays are done by the Cathedral chapter. And we really just want to wish the whole Cathedral family, uh, Dean Shelley and, and the clergy serving with you, uh, a Happy New Year. We want to wish a Happy New Year uh, to just our diocese as a whole. Uh, and to pray that 2024 uh, will be different for us in terms of us uh, really just continuing to put our shoulder to the wheel and to give our best to God. Uh, I have this firm belief that if we offer our best to God, uh, offer to God what is within our means, uh, bring out from what we have, uh, that God will in fact uh, smile upon us and help us to realize that it was actually more than we thought. Uh, so God's richest blessings, everyone. Uh, and we we just continue 
uh, to pray God in our midst will lead us to the things that God desires. Uh, we end with the hymn, As of Gladness, Men of Old, uh, and I will then come back and do a blessing and the dismissal. As with gladness, men of old. Christ, the Son of God, born of Mary, believe with his grace to trust his promises always and obey his will. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you this day and forevermore. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let us go in peace and in love always to serve this God who loves us. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and God bless you.